What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome to RTH Tech TV and today let's see some basic to advanced useful 20 plus tips and tricks for Lenovo's ZUK Z1. You make sure that you watch this video till the end so that you don't miss on any important points. Now as it runs on Cyanogen OS, we do have a feature wherein we can shift from off-screen capacitive touch buttons to on-screen buttons and vice versa. So to enable or disable this, you can go to buttons under settings. We also have left-handed mode which allows you to have on-screen buttons on the left hand side when you're holding a device in the landscape orientation which helps you to navigate very easily and very quickly so it is very convenient now you can enable or disable this under same buttons menu under settings now you can press and hold on the home button to access google now which gives you customized cards like weather stocks sports news etc you can swipe from top left side to get to notification tray and swipe again to get to quick toggles you can swipe on the right side to go to quick toggles directly or you can use two finger gesture to directly go to quick toggles you can press and hold on any quick toggle to go to its respective setting the only thing you cannot do here is customizing the quick toggles is not possible they are fixed to their position you do have an option to enable double tap to wake or double tap to sleep under display settings but the concern is it does not work most of the time so let's hope that it gets fixed in future update so that we can use it more efficiently and effectively. Press and hold on the home screen to change wallpapers, add widgets, go to settings or swipe up to get a menu wherein you can control scroll effect for the home screen. You can also change layout of application tray from vertical to horizontal or vice versa. And also you have an option called as protected applications that is using this feature you can hide the applications and for that you'll have to set the pattern first and then select applications which you want to hide and once you have set that if you notice in the application tray those applications will not be visible so it seems like a good feature and if you have any applications which you want to hide then definitely use it you also have theme support on this device wherein you can change icons, wallpaper, ringtone, boot animation and much more. You can also shop themes, so some are free and some will cost you. Now you also have an option called as App Themer which allows you to change the layout of the application which you are in. That is for example I am in settings so I can change the settings panel from one of the available panels of the installed themes. So you can have combination of different components of different themes at the same time on this device so it takes the customizations to a whole new level when we talk about multitasking by default we do not have support for multi-window mode anyway there is an application called as floating apps free which allows you to have multiple windows at the same time that is you can watch a youtube video and also browse some other content at the same time now another good thing with this application is it allows you to minimize the windows so you can play youtube videos in the background by default we do not have time lapse mode in the camera application for that you can use an application called as hyperlapse from microsoft which allows you to capture some beautiful hyperlapse or time lapse videos by default we also do not have easy mode on this device so you can download an application called as visor which enables a simple interface with big icons only necessary applications and contacts which is very helpful for kids or elderly people this phone comes with 64 GB of internal storage and it does not have a micro SD card slot. Now there is a solution for this. This device supports USB OTG. That is you can connect a pen drive and extend the internal storage. That is you can seamlessly access the content from the pen drive. Under battery settings, under battery mode, you can enable power save option which allows you to have extended battery life by stopping the background applications and animations. You can get to know if you are in power save mode by the red bar which will appear on the top. If you feel that your personal data should not be tampered by your friends or kids then you can make them stay in one particular application by using screen pinning option which is available under security settings. Under accessibility you can enable magnification gestures after which you can tap thrice on the screen and it will magnify for you. By pinching in or out you can adjust the level of magnification. By using single finger you can move between the pages and by using two fingers you can move in the same page. You have smart lock under lock screen and fingerprint which allows you to unlock your phone by trusted devices that is Bluetooth devices, trusted places that is home or office, trusted face, trusted voice, 
and on-body detection. Under lock screen and fingerprint itself, we have ONA info. That is, you can type in some meaningful information like secondary phone number or email ID. And if in case you lost your phone, then the other person can contact you through that information. So it's definitely useful. Please try it out. You also have screencast or screen recording supported on this device. So you don't need to have any third party application for that. You can record the screen and make some tutorials as it also records audio via the microphone. If you're not happy with the look and feel of the software, you can always install Google Now Launcher, which gives you stock of vanilla kind of experience. It's much simple to use and it'll also make your phone faster. So that's it guys. If you feel this video is informative, give it a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section. And most importantly, thanks for watching.